Hey, my name is Shafe Nicholson and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about Labour's lie. It's about the housing market. It's going to impact house prices significantly. And that's the point of this channel is we want to know what might happen in the future. Because if you're going to invest in a residential property to live in, or maybe you're an investor that's already got properties or you want to start investing, it's good to know where house prices might end up and that is important now this is a totally new angle i've not talked about this before but it's all about the house building so if you recall the election labor said they are going to build 1.5 million houses in the first five years in power well it turns out that's totally wrong and it is way worse way way worse than you might have actually expected so if you're new around here and you haven't done already, do subscribe to the channel over there and hit that bell notification. We've got new content every day on the property market, house prices, interest rates, investing in property and government schemes as well, which we're going to cover in this one. And let's get some more views on this content by smashing like, tickling like, do something to that like button. Even if you like me asking, great. If you don't like me asking, hit it out of anger. That helps with the YouTube algorithm and gets more views on the channel. So thanks to everyone that does that. So we haven't had Labour in very long and I'm not trying to be political. What I'm looking at here is their policy. They said they would be building 1,500 properties in the UK by five years from now, within five years from now, in 2029. Well, it turns out that the person in charge of that doesn't believe that will happen. They've emailed all of the people in that department and leaked, it's been leaked to the press, a lot of places are covering this today, that they're not going to get anywhere near that. What's also interesting is once they got into power, that number, so initially... They said 1.5 million houses. That number was revised up by some people in Labour to 1.8 million. Now, this is mostly social housing, affordable housing, which is what the country needs. And I want that. I want people to be able to afford a property. Um, look, I'm an investor. Of course, I want to make money with my properties. But I can still do that by ugly properties that need refurbishment, doing them up and adding value that way. And over time, I'll make money from rent and I'll make money from the equity increasing as well. But we also do need affordable housing for people. I've got friends that have got kids that are really struggling to get on the property ladder, especially in the southeast, because it is so expensive. And so we do need this to work. So the promise was 1.5 to 1.8 million properties and who's in charge of this well it's a guy called peter denton and he's emailed everybody at homes england is the division in the government for this and he has said is a great ambitious target but we're not going to hit it in fact it will take 10 years 10 years and even then they might not hit it. They never hit these targets, the government. Now, let's just say it's 1.5 over 10 years. That's only 150,000 properties per year. We already are running at a rate that we need 500,000 new properties. So maybe the public sector, the private sector even, will pick up that stuff. Well, I'm going to talk about that in this video as well, because that also doesn't look very positive either. So Peter Denton's emailed all the people that work for Homes England, and he said, we're not going to hit this target. It's not looking great. And all the Federation of Builders and all these other people that uh, have a say, support the government and stuff like that, they've been interviewed for these articles by the uh, press. And they're saying that let's just say we were going to build an estate with a thousand properties and you started that right now to get planning through to actually start building those properties from five years from now they would say that you would have one 
of those properties built because you've got all the time of getting the site ready, which would take years if you're building a thousand houses. Obviously, a big area you've got to excavate there. The planning permission is still considerably slow uh, that would cause major problems for that. And in five years, you'd look at one property being built and you'd be looking at six, seven, eight years to have all thousand of those properties built. So they're saying it just isn't physically possible. So we're looking at 10 years for that. Developers are agreeing that 10 years, you could build 1.5 million houses. But at that stage, we would be millions behind what we need. Our population is growing through immigration. People are living longer. Uh, and so the UK population is expected to go up significantly in that 10 year period. And we're not going to have enough properties. So what else is going on in this? So the Home Builders Federation, they've said, yeah, five years to build one property on a thousand property estate due to planning. And um, it gets worse. So Peter Denton, he's in charge of this. We have another chap called Peter as well. And the other guy is called Peter Freeman. So these are the top two bods at Homes England. Okay, so what are they going to do about this? To fix this problem, they both quit. They both quit and someone else is going to be replacing them in January. So that doesn't fill us with much confidence that this is ever going to get resolved. It's only just started. Like, it hasn't been a long period of time and they're already waving the white flags and saying, this isn't going to happen. Um, so the whole of the Homes England uh, team, or a lot of them, that are speaking to the press are saying it's disorganized there's no structure in there there's internal fighting and bickering which is probably correct um because you've got the two top people leaving um interestingly enough they spent 400 grand homes england on an internal meeting 400 grand on an internal meeting that's insane uh, that's what happens in government stuff there are people as well working for Homes England on 400 grand salaries, consultants that are going in there to try and support this that are on 400 grand salaries <coughs> and still it's not going to help, help. So what's going on in the private sector? Is that going to help build properties? Well, <coughs> in 2023, you can look this up, home building was down by 53%. 53% annually on 2022. Not great. What's it looking like now? In 2024, it's hard to get all the stats, but one company that I have got stats for is Barrett Homes. They are down 7%. Down 7% on that, down 53%. So that's not great. House building is just not happening due to cost of materials, inflation, labour costs have gone up, you've got the minimum wage that's gone up, you've got <coughs> national insurance that's gone up, <coughs> that's not going to help, the cost of materials has gone up, the interest rates are high, so it's really hard to borrow money, so we're just not building, like we're just not going to be building enough properties. Now, the title of this video talks about house prices, how is this going to impact house prices? Well, it's not going to help them drop, is it, if we're realistic about this. Now, house prices could drop. They could drop next year because they're still very expensive. The affordability is still tough for a lot of people. We don't dispute that. I don't think anyone disputes that. We also could go down into an economic downturn. We could go into a recession. If that happens... People are going to lose their jobs. They might then have to sell their house. And in order to sell the house, they at that stage um, could look to sell it at a lower price just to sell it fast. So we could have that. But I think supply and demand is something that does impact house prices. The economy as well massively impacts house prices. But if we're not building and we still got immigration and we still got a population that's living older and older and older, I think you're going to see either a fairly stable market because the prices just can't go up because people are struggling to pay more. Or you could see, I think in the next five years, house prices really have a tear at some point and go up like they did in the pandemic. Remember, over recent years, 
house prices are down if you account for inflation. And so it's interesting to just get all of this data, right? That's why I like to share with you how much are the asking prices at right move? We talk about that every month and that is an early indicator. Are sellers desperate to sell? If we do a video and it says, you know what, house prices, new listings are down 10% against last month or 5% or 2%, we know sellers are getting a little more, bit more urgent to sell and those new sellers are coming on and they want to get a quick sale in order to get that done. So if we see that kind of stuff, which we might, then we've got to really, really understand the market is moving and things could change. So this is an interesting one. It's a different angle to normal content. Let me know what you thought about this. Is this interesting if I bring you different videos rather than just house prices and interest rates um, all the time? I'd like to know. Uh, do like the video. Do subscribe. Check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.